Hey friends, what's up? Good news for all you x86 tablet users. I uh, just just had a great experience with um, with the operating system of Linux that looks and has the logo that you guys see every day. <laughs> When I saw it, then I realized, oh yeah, now I know where Facebook got their little logo from, you know, and it's nothing else than Fedora Linux. Also, for my friends with all the tablets, uh, I'm talking about this old 99 uh, stylistic 3400, 3, I have great news for you guys. Uh, Fedora also runs on this thing, but I did not install it yet on it. But uh, I want to bring you a little update for those that saw the video about the 3400 uh, running uh, Linux. Uh, I have a new great version of Linux running on it now and it's called Linpus Linux. Um, for the newer versions of tablets, well newer versions after 99, I'm talking for the people with uh, the x86 Windows uh, tablets such as uh, the Asus. This is an old school thing. I also have great news for you. Fedora just uh, uh, runs great on this tablet and the touch screen works marvelous. Also for my friends that uh, followed the, my videos about the Fusonic, great news for you. I uninstalled or I just deleted yesterday, I wiped the hard drive, wiped Windows uh, 8 from this thing and I installed Fedora. And man, I have so much space left, you don't want to believe it. Uh, the thing just uses uh, 6 gigabyte of hard drive uh, space to run. And you know the coolest thing of, uh, of Linux is that, um, you know why I think Linux is the future? Well, you know, I was a Windows user and then at a certain point in my life, you know, after many years of using Windows, I also tried Linux, but I was like, I don't really like it, I feel lonely on Linux, I did not, you understand? And, and I went back to Windows, but at a certain moment, you know, I got the iPhone, my first 3GS half iPhone that I got, some of you may saw that movie, how I got the thing all working again cost me 150 bucks of course with the thanks to my friends of uh, what is the phone shop uh, mobile uh, unlimited on in, in Groningen city big up to my friend up there uh, we call it the guru the guru of all the iPhones but uh, because of that iPhone I also wanted the Mac you know just to see how things worked you know how I could like fix my iPhone you know could also do it with Windows but I wanted a Mac so you know I also started working with Mac and I start understanding things even better especially the browse system home uh, the home folder and 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 things like that you know because in Linux if you look for things you might be like hey damn I see all these folders where should I be you just have to be at the home folder man just the home folder it's easy like that you know and things like that we really discovered thanks to uh, Mac OS 10 and OS operating systems at least I did and now I understand Linux so much better and I really appreciate Linux so much better and the guys of Linux are really improving making all sorts of little distributions these days and you know you cannot even know anymore uh, uh, what to choose because there is so much and uh, you must just try and see which one works the best for you you know and that will be the system that you will run okay enough spoken I'm gonna turn them on uh, all of them and we will see some beautiful booting up here of systems all different systems but all family of each other because they are all x86 systems and x86 means that they can run uh, windows okay there we can see some starting up is uh, happening there of course the view sonic will be much faster you can see fedora linux booting up on the view sonic and also here something should happen something should happen on the view sonic or maybe the battery is empty that could be the case and then i apologize for that i thought i filtered up yesterday but you can see um Fedora Linux is already started up 
and the coolest thing of Fedora, my friends, all you guys there with few Sonic tablets, you should not use uh, um, anything else. Then, well, you can use whatever you want because this tablet just got very functional. And you see, I have to log in. Uh, what is happening here? Calibration TS field. And there you go. What you're looking at is the old uh, 1999 uh, uh, tablet CQ computer running uh, Linpus Linux and the coolest thing of Linpus Linux is that we can also just hit here oh no this is not touch screen we just hit um, here and then we will get uh, easier to use home screen my my uh, my Asus is uh, having some problems here with the screen and uh, I think I'm gonna See what that is. We're trying it one more time. The Asus. Let's see what's happening. Let's see what's happening, man. Got to see what's happening, you know. Got to see what's happening. Grub loading and then Fendora Linux. Oh, I had to choose. Okay, here. We're just starting Fendora Linux now. Then we should get a little. Oh, it's rebooting. I'm not gonna worry too much about that one. I just want to show you about this uh, this one here. Fedora. Let's start off this one. Loading Fedora Initial Rendered. This one I'm just using to play music, of course. This is no big deal. But the music sounds so much better with uh, this media player. I hope you can see it a little bit. Uh, this media player is called... Um, yeah, it's called media player. And you can just play... Oh, this is the equalizer. Let's play a song, okay? Let's try to play a song. Great sound, great sound, great sound. Great sound, great sound, I like it. This is uh, just for music, no big deal. Just to let this thing work again, you know? And this is Linpus Linux on the 99 tablet. Of course, my friend, you will have the best choice the best deal with the few Sonic few pad the few pad 10 you do need a keyboard because you will have to log in after after you logged in you can remove uh, the tablet and you must you must my friends download a virtual keyboard and we don't have to inject anything and you are seeing an empty desktop here and you're like what the hell is this well just click on activities and you will see a toolbar a little dock will open here at the side and then you can go to applications just hit applications and here you see the beautiful applications that you can scroll just like in Android and in Windows 8 and up here you have great uh, little apps but my friends of course you can go to system tools and you can go to the App Store of these guys and up here we have the gnome desktop so we can go to the gnome desktop and then you know we search for apps especially for the gnome desktop okay so we have an app store uh, how is internet working you know well let me tell you all the hardware is found you know it's no big deal you know everything works the cam works and um, we also have a little program to show you that the cam works we just go to applications and then we look for a program called oh hold on I was a little bit too fast this thing is really responsive the capacitive screen of few sonic let me see graphics um, image viewer 
simple scan uh, office maybe no sound and video oh there it is cheese we go for a program called cheese and then it should find my webcam I think look there we are hey that's my studio you see that so it's working we do have a webcam so in fact everything works with Fedora this is Fedora 7 um, the top version uh, download um, the one of uh, I think 800 megabytes something like that just create a USB bootable stick with a UNET boot in just download that and um, create a bootable USB stick in Windows you also have UNET booting for Mac and then you know you can install uh, your version of Fedora on your tablet so my friends yes you should install Fedora Linux on the few Sonic 10 anyway so what I'm actually saying is people you should uh, get uh, Fedora and Fedora is not only for um, for tablets it can also run on your computer and let me tell you a version of Fedora that I also downloaded it was like way back a version from what uh, from 1999 that runs on a Pentium 2 400 megahertz with uh, 192 megabyte if you also want to run the desktop so all you guys with you know uh, specs that are higher than that 400 megahertz and 192 megabyte RAM should really try Fedora Fedora is it looks great, uh, great wallpapers, it looks outstanding on, on, on tablet, it works really cool, you know, and there is a virtual keyboard, and I'm so sorry, I don't know what happened, I think, I think this thing is a little bit jealous, you know, my computers get jealous, <laughs> because if I, I installed, I installed the uh, Fedora on, on this tablet, and I made a video about the Asus, but I did not finish the video, and then I, I started this video, so my Asus, she got jealous you know the problem with old tablets and old laptops is they have like a kind of spirit living in them you know and sometimes they just got jealous so i just took her away from the others and i'm gonna start her up now you know i also connected the power so you know she will be like okay let's boot up and that light you're seeing there, that's not the full moon. Okay, let's just let's just press it to boot up. Look, you see? Now oh, she's booting up, eh? Let's take a look what's gonna happen. Because I need to show you this laptop, this tablet. I really need to show it to you. This is a real-time boot. You see now she's booting up, eh? You see how jealous these, these, these tablets are? And now I will have to lock in, I think. Or, oh no. Ah, okay. Look, I was, I put her to sleep. And, and somehow, in some crazy way, if I don't connect this thing to her, then she cannot wake up. Okay, as you can see, we hit activities. We hit applications. And you see, it's the same beautiful stuff and this is resistive screen and this is the old Asus Air 2H from 2005 so this thing I saw one selling for 10 euros 10 euros on marketplace it's not turning on anymore so you know these things are not worth it too much nobody wants this heavy things anymore but I tell you my friend this is one of the coolest coolest tablets to have as long as this thing don't loosen up this is the little this is the little stand eh, at the back you see you got to be careful with it but hey friends look internet is connected I don't know if you can see it eh? the cam is working the internal cam, cam is working sound is working and no joke look what I'm gonna show you we have a keyboard man a one kind of beautiful gnome keyboard so we don't have to worry about that we cannot type and we cannot blah blah we have a keyboard man you know we just it just pops away if we don't need it and if we need it we just turn it on again you see you can add favorites to the toolbar here and that is really cool you know like the internet is working just fine no big deal 
c'est pas de problème. Hein? C'est pas de problème, mon frère. Hein? Mon, uh, ma ami. For the ladies, eh? Only the scrolling doesn't go too good here, as you can see. But then again, we have we have this uh, mouse here, so we can do everything we want, you know, with this tablet. This tablet is really, really, really nice and cool to run Fedora Linux on it. And Fedora is uh, free, people. You don't have to pay. It don't cost anything. It's free. Yep, it's free. And I'm gonna show you how to put in uh, another wallpaper real fast you go to um, here to your account your name and then you can go here to system settings it's really easy and up here you just click um, you know your favorite uh, background and we can give it the popular background of <laughs> Apple iPhone users you see that? So it's really, really outstandingly nice. We cannot remove the, the power. You know, be happy, don't worry, be happy. Just get Fedora, Linux and uh, install Facebook. And you will be like, hey, this is Facebook OS. I might make, I might make a video, eh? Facebook OS. And then I show Fedora. Yeah man, that could give Fedora a good boost. I might call this video Facebook the newest operating system just to boost up Fedora Linux. Cause you know Facebook also you know kinda use Fedora's logo. Probably because these guys also loved Fedora. So I think Facebook won't mind if I just make a prank video saying that Facebook released the latest OS. We might do that in my next video, okay? See you next time. This was Puck and have fun with Fedora Linux. And to the guys of Fedora Linux, I want to say. Um, can you guys also put in the possibility for the users who install Fedora that they can uh, also choose not to log in with the password? Because tablet users that uh, start up their tablet, you know, some uh, cannot get at the virtual keyboard, you know, um, or maybe you guys can insert a virtual keyboard that is really nice. Not leave the password, just insert a, a link to a virtual keyboard uh, in Fedora special for the tablet users so i hope fedora will think of that update and uh, to the developers up there i say thank you very very much because i really love your operating system and i hope that you guys are really the future and that you guys will get just as big as facebook and that everybody will use fedora linux because i'm gonna use it for real thank you for watching this was puck until my next video bye